What's up guys? Today, me and my friend Dean here, we're gonna be um, testing out some different ammunition on his AR-15 and shooting my nine millimeter Glock. We're gonna be shooting at a concrete slab to kind of test out how it affects differently. Um, I don't know how to really explain it. Dean will explain it later on. And then we also have some random stuff to shoot and blow up like some little gingerbread houses. So it's gonna be pretty fun. All right guys, like Nathan said, I'm gonna do a quick brief on the different types of ammo. So we're gonna be trying out three different types. These two look the same. They're both full metal jacket, meaning it's just a lead core with a copper jacket around it. However, this one weighs 55 grains, the bullet, and this one's 62. So the heavier one, potentially, it's the difference between throwing a golf ball versus a tennis ball. Golf ball is gonna be way more, possibly go through more, be less affected by the wind. However, it's not gonna go as far versus something a little bit lighter. And hitting a target, the lighter one's going to break apart and tumble around inside the target more than 62. Now this is an M85 green, eight, M855 green tip. So a lot of you, if you're familiar with shooting, will probably know what this is. This is also 62 grain. However, it has a steel core right in the middle of the bullet. So that steel core, steel is obviously a lot harder than lead, gives it the hopeful idea and extra inertia to go through metal doors, potentially body armor and penetrate a little bit deeper. All right guys, our first test is just gonna be a paper target accuracy test. So we're only gonna be testing the 55 versus 62 grain because the green tip and 62 FMJ should theoretically fire the exact same, keep the same zero with the scope. Uh, my scope is adjusted for 62 grain ammo and theoretically the lighter ammo doesn't drop as fast. So it theoretically should be a bit higher the grouping than the 62 grain ammo. I've never really tried it out. We're only at 60 yards, so that might not be a huge difference, but let's just give it a rip and see. I'm also shooting a 16 inch barrel with a 1.7 twist. So the 1.7 favors 62 round or grain, if you're really into that. <laughs> rip. That'll be a funny blooper. Forgot to tighten my scope after taking, after putting it on, taking the gun after the case. So let's try this again. Two more shots, still 62 grain. Same target, 60 yards. I think that first shot, since my scope wasn't tightened down, I was a little bit off at zero. It's a little wobbly on the gun. Once I got it tightened down, you can see my two shots there. Pretty good grouping, it's 60 yards. I'm gonna mark these in the circle, and those will be the 62. And we'll shoot three more with the 55, theoretically. They should hit a little bit higher. I'm not thinking a lot at the only 60 yards, but we'll see if we see a difference between the ammo. Let's try that 55 out. Scope is tightened this time. Let's see what kind of grouping we get. way different than we thought. We could see we got one, two, three right there. They're actually a little lower. So again, 60 yards, I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference. However, when it actually hits a target, that's where it's gonna make the difference. So we got a concrete block over here. We're gonna try the same thing. We're gonna shoot one round with the 55 grain, one round with the 62, one round with the green tip. So the same 62, but with the steel core. Let's try it out. So first one, we're gonna start low with the 55 grain. So this one, I'm gonna aim for the lower right of the block. Let's see how it goes. Fortunately, I think our slow-mo GoPro camera died. However, you can see I hit the lower left. Hit a little right where I was aiming, but it blew the chunk off the side. So we can't really tell. All that energy probably hit there and went there, so it might not be as clean as a result. We'll go ahead and put our other two. Next is just the normal 62. I'll put that more center mass and then do this green tip and see if we still have room for the lighter bullet. Now we'll try the 62 grain, normal. All right, looks like I made good contact. All right, so there's the normal 62 round. Uh, stayed all in the brick, unlike the 55. So went in for probably about an inch. Uh, a lot of it went down, broken to here, there's some chunks, I don't see any jacket or piece 
piece of the bullet anywhere, but let's hit it with the more armor penetrating round, the green tip with that steel core. See if we get any better results than that. Right now we got the green tip, more penetrating, 62 grain. Here's a 62 green tip. Off the initial look, you can tell the area affected is a lot bigger than the normal 62. However, the biggest difference is, so here we have about one hole right where that chunk of lead hit. However, here, we, had, despite also the bigger crater, there's a really tiny hole, probably about the size of that piece of steel, that goes in to the left a little bit. So it stopped again about an inch, like the normal 62, but that steel core actually went in probably another half an inch or so, but just curved to the left. So we can see there is a little bit better penetration, uh, more damage, and I guess that's what the round's built for. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna shoot this little gingerbread house with my Glock. It's just going back to this. Uh, Nathan went ahead and shot it with his 9mm Glock from only about probably 10 yards away. And you can see how big of a difference. So that was the 9mm. That's the 60 yards, way more than about four times as far, six times as far actually, with the green tip versus a nine mil. And I noticed too, deep in here, you can actually, I don't know if it's gonna come up on the camera, you can see that steel core way into there. And I don't know if it's gonna show up on the camera. That's from that steel core, steel core of the bullet continuing past where the lead didn't versus, again, same weight bullet, no steel core. Didn't leave a little hole around there. It's just about the size of a bullet hole right there, versus here, where that thin rod just kept going, making this, the green tip, M855, slightly better penetrating. For the next test, I got a wood block here, eight pieces, just stacked with duct tape. I'm gonna be shooting it here. Again, we'll fire all three rounds, See what kind of different penetration we get. And I know this isn't gonna be super scientific. We got some space versus in others, but it'll give us a cool idea. Final test, we're gonna test the green tip, the 62 and 55 against that wood plank I just showed you guys. So in the mag, I have a 55 first, then the 62, then the green tip. I'm gonna start low, go to the high. Hopefully the plank doesn't fall over and we don't have to run back out there. Let's give it a whip. Perfect. Didn't fall over. Hopefully we can see some good results. I fired those three shots, ended up barely hitting one of the grays, so off camera just shot an extra. But again, here we got the 55 grain, 62 grain, 62 grain tip. So that 55, that lighter bullet, you see it hit there? It didn't even make it to the back side. It actually tumbled out the side of the wood. So it went in, that lighter bullet, again less inertia, it's like a bowling ball versus a volleyball. That volleyball is not gonna be able to go through as much. So it actually curved, came out the side. You can see how much damage it did. That's what the lighter bullet's for, is more tumbling, bounce around inside of the target. At 62 grain, right there, uh, punched clean through. But again, you can see almost same effect. By the time it hit the end, it was tumbling and turning a little bit. Actually came out sideways. You can see a little gnash right there. So, not as much damage, but definitely pierced through a lot cleaner. Uh, it swayed a little bit. You can see we started on this side here, came out the opposite side. But for the green tip, again, that penetrator round, same hole in the front, hit it direct center, 
came out the back in a much smaller hole, which means that bullet traveled through with more inertia. It didn't turn and tumble and doing as much damage as that 62 because it's got that steel steel round that all the all of it just went straight through heavier harder hitting steel versus lead and up here in case you're run, wondering that's actually from the first shot that it grazed actually grazed went in came out again same effect though tiny hole more just penetration versus damage now we're going to shoot it with the glock 9 mil see what that does and instead of 60 yards We'll shoot it about 10 and still be able to see a cool difference. We're gonna shoot the wood block once with the nine mil from Glock. Again, this bullet's bigger diameter, but way less FPS. I don't think it's gonna penetrate. We're only shooting about eight or 10 yards or so compared to the 60 with the AR. Well, as we can see right off the bat, it's a way bigger hole. So that diameter is bigger than that 5.56 five, round. However, We actually do almost have penetration. Doesn't look like it went through, so we'll go ahead and pick out, uh, take apart these blocks, see if we can find a bullet in there. Believe that's, yeah, that should be it. I'm actually surprised, as you can see here too, came in here, but it bulged out the top, so that bullet must have gone in, curved up a little bit. But, so at least at this distance, it almost penetrated, but if you tried to shoot someone same yards we shot the AR this block. I doubt you'd get close to the same result. But we'll open it up and check it out. Here's our block of wood. Uh, this is where that 9mm almost came out. So this would be the front where we're shooting. Uh, I'm just going to look for that 9mm. I'm pretty sure we're not going to find anything from the 5.56. Let's take this first one off. There we can see here's the hole from that 55 grain bullet. Or the 62 grain. My bad. And the holes from that 62 grain steel penetrator. So you can see a big difference here. Those penetrator bullets definitely do what they're designed to and just cleanly punch through things versus dealing damage such as that. But anyway, we got no bullet here on that last layer. So, oh. Huh. All right, second layer, nothing here. Again, you can see the 62 grain of uh, green tip versus 62. And here we actually have the start of the 55 where it came out the side. Still nothing on the nine mil. Go ahead. Next layer. All right, again, 62 uh, green tip. That 55 before it came out the side. Still don't see that 9 mil bullet, so I don't think it's penetrated. Uh, might yeah. be in that one actually. Mm. Maybe. So it, that, that bullet didn't go far, it just had a bunch of inertia. Oh, I think it's in this one. Oh yeah. These are pretty stuck together. So it probably went about three and a half. I don't know what kind of wood this is. About half inch. Oh, maybe? Still no. Must be in that one. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it did go through. We're just dumbass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Last one. I don't ones. know, man. I feel like it did. Yeah. It must have gone through. Just really closed up behind itself. Here's a really good view of it. So that normal 62 grain bullet started to break apart there versus those green tips stayed together and continued on in. So that's green tips, what the military used to use. I think they're going to slightly more advanced one now. It's like the M855A1. Uh, you can see these are designed to go through, say a car door or something, potentially even some body armor and still punch through and hit the target. However, that other ammo, 55 is what they used, I think, in Vietnam. I might be wrong, but you can definitely tell a difference. I was honestly kind of skeptical. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference between 62 and the green tip, but I obviously can. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Uh, we didn't have time or sunlight to shoot some other stuff and 
blow stuff up but we'll definitely be doing that here pretty soon so stay tuned for the next video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time